G'day everyone and welcome to Common Prayer. Today we're looking at Galatians chapter 3, where Paul is really laying out for the Galatians the choice that they have. They can live under the law or they can live by faith. They can live under rules or they can live under grace. And Paul really lays it out for them. He shows throughout the history of Israel how the law was powerless to save. Why did God give the law in the first place? Well, the freed slaves from Israel were led out to Sinai, the mountain of Sinai. And there, God graciously gave the law to the people. The law was designed to show people how to care for one another. It stipulated you must give to the poor, you must care for orphans and widows, you must care for one another. It stipulated for these freed slaves who'd only lived in Egypt under their masters how to live. You must rest, you must care for one another. And it also shaped their understanding of how they could repair their relationship with God. It gave a sacrificial system. If you wanted to atone for your sins. If you wanted forgiveness from God, you could sacrifice uh, an animal, a goat or a bull or a, um, a dove if you were poor. You could sacrifice that to God and be reconciled to God. But the law was never meant to be the way we were meant to live entirely. And that's why Paul brings up Abraham. Now, Abraham didn't have the law. He lived before the law. But he was righteous in God's eyes. Why? Because he trusted in God's promises. He had faith in God. At the moment in the Galatian community, there's a bunch of non-Jewish Christians who are faithful to God. They love Jesus. But there are a bunch of Jewish Christians who've always lived by the law and they say, no, you need to start obeying the laws of the Old Testament. You need to submit to kosher food regulations. You need to keep the letter of the law. But Paul, who spent the majority of his life living as a good observant Jew, is now saying, the law is not what saves you. Jesus is. So yeah, follow the laws that help you follow Jesus. But if they don't help you follow Jesus, then follow Jesus instead. Paul is trying to unite the church in Galatia under God. He's telling them they don't need to be anything or do anything to be loved by God because God has already provided all the love. They need to follow Jesus and leave the rest to God. And so Paul finishes the chapter by saying these words in verse 26. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And so friend, today I wanna to encourage you to strive for unity. I want to encourage you to clothe yourself with Christ. And I want to remind you that we are all one in Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And my prayer for you today comes from my ePray app. It's the prayer for the week, the 11th Sunday after Pentecost prayer. It says this, Almighty God, you have given your only son to be for us both a sacrifice for sin and an also example, and also an example of godly life. Give us grace that we may always thankfully receive the benefits of his sacrifice and also daily endeavor to follow the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Have a great day, everyone. Keep living by grace through faith, and we'll see you next time. God bless.